Hello, I'm Kimberly Williams, nurse practitioner at Holy Family Pain Clinic. I've been a nurse practitioner for over 19 years. I specifically have focused on pain management for the past four plus years and work with Dr. Margaret Klott in helping to facilitate pain management for our patients. The difference between short-term and long-term opioid use is the duration the medication stays in your system as well as perhaps symptoms that you may feel. For example, if you take an immediate release opioid, you are going to perhaps feel pain relief in a short amount of time. However, that medication will only last in your system perhaps for four to six hours. If we use long-term opioids for pain management, the patient may not see a sudden onset of pain relief because this medication is slowly released over eight to 12 hours depending upon the medication that we use. What happens to your body the longer you take opioids is that your body can become resistant to the medication. I like to explain it to patients that, let's just say you have this many pain receptor sites, and the longer you take opioids, you're gonna start developing more and more and more pain receptor sites, and it's gonna make it more difficult for us to keep your pain under control because of what we call a hyperalgesia effect from the opioid. Some common side effects of taking opioids would be nausea, vomiting, constipation, and for some people, depending upon about, about the medication that they've taken, perhaps in combination with other medications, can cause drowsiness and a decrease in resp respiratory rate. For some people, that can lead to severe respiratory depression and put them in a coma. Other risks associated with taking opioids would be physical dependence on the medication. Additionally, you could have withdrawal symptoms if you miss your dose or you are not getting your prescription in time or perhaps you self-escalated on your medication and you're running short and it's not lasting the duration that your provider expects it to last. I do a lot of education with the patients and one of the biggest things that I need to tell you is don't set an alarm for when you're supposed to take your medication. So if it's prescribed three times a day or perhaps four times a day, we're looking at a six to eight hour duration. I recommend that the patient need to listen to their body and if your pain is moderate to severe, then you should be doing uh, the medication as prescribed. If you take it on a scheduled basis, your body becomes dependent on it, and if you miss doses uh, in those circumstances, you can start to experience withdrawal symptoms if you're using this medication for a long time. So precautions uh, with anybody who is on an opioid for pain medication is first of all, understand the medication and how it works. Ideally, we shouldn't be using it in chronic pain, but unfortunately for some people, that's the only thing that can manage their pain. So be aware of your medication. Other precautions that I would recommend is the safety of your medication. In relationship to others around you, I would recommend that you only take out the medication that you're allowed for that day, and the other medication should be locked up uh, and not accessible to anybody else. Uh, the other precautions that you should take is, is to know perhaps um, what it looks like if you've accidentally taken too much or perhaps someone has gotten in your medication and has uh, taken uh, an accidental overdose or unfortunately an intentional overdose on the medication. I do recommend for patients to have Narcan available. Narcan is a medication that blocks opioid receptor sites and can reverse respiratory arrest, respiratory depression uh, from an opioid. However, that medication is uh, short term and needs to be repeated frequently until the medication is low enough in a person's system that they can regain their own function of 
uh, respiratory breathing. One of the things I would recommend if you have medications around is to know where your resources are for help. That would be perhaps calling 911, perhaps you being aware of how, in, how to do rescue breathing in the event that someone gets your medication and takes too much. Um, be aware of home measures that you can do to comfort yourself. People often forget about uh, supplementing with Tylenol. Some cannot take ibuprofen, but if you are a person who can, uh, I would talk to your healthcare provider as far as what doses are recommended, what types of, of NSAIDs you can take. And then uh, other things such as ice, heat, warm baths, hot tub if you're uh, fortunate to be able to have access to that. Showers could be another option. Uh, here at Holy Family in the Wellness Center, we have a warm pool. So um, just getting in the pool and uh, allowing that to, to give you some uh, pain relief is, is uh, beneficial.